here we have two solutions. We have on the left, ferrous sulfate, and on the right, ferric chloride. Now if you calculate the oxidation state of iron in each of these solutions, you'll see that we have iron 2 plus and iron 3 plus. And we're going to compare what happens when we neutralize and each of these solutions and oxidize one of them as well. So first thing to note about the solutions presently in the tube, we can see that they are both clear. Okay, the one on the right, however, has color, but it still is clear, which tells us that um, the contents are dissolved. So what we're gonna do now is add a buffer solution, which will raise the pH. We make the assumption that the buffer does not participate in any reaction other than by controlling the solution pH. So the process on the in the ferric chloride is a bit slower, so I'm going to add a little more base to that reaction. So some extra extra hydroxide or OH minus. What we see now is that there's clearly a solid precipitate in each tube and some obvious color differences between those two precipitates. What we're going to do now is add some hydrogen peroxide. H2O2 to the tube on the left and watch what happens. And so this is quite fascinating here uh, because we can see uh, two different colored precipitates in the tube. Uh, the reason why it's not all orange now is simply because the hydrogen peroxide didn't mix thoroughly. So if we take the tube out and mix it, we should get rid of that.